Baker, are you sure this is the place? Yep, this is it. And how did you get this lead? There was a neighbor lady who called into the station. She said a man had, was carrying a woman into the building and the description matched Sarah. Okay, well, I, I hope you're right about this. You think we should call some backup? No, 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 this is on us. If things go sideways, I want it to be just on our heads. All Let's right. go. Hey, me. It's, it's your brother Harry. Um, could you please give me a call back when you get this? It's it's really important. I, I hope you're doing okay. Just please call me when you get this. Look, I really don't think we should give the kidnapper this amount of money. How the hell am I supposed to get my wife back if you don't give them the money? There has to be a way. What other way? Dude, all I keep hearing is you talking, but you're not coming up with any plans. What about the cops? Or detectives? What about them? Let's talk to the detectives. I'm, I'm sure they can help us with a plan. No, no, I, I don't want to do anything that could possibly endanger her life, okay? Look, come on, man. When's the last time you talked to your wife? Exactly. Mark, you need to trust me before it's too late. All right, you better hope I don't go wrong with this.
Please. I won't tell anybody. I promise. I won't. I won't tell anybody. See, I'm stupid. No. See, I'm stupid. No. Detective Baker, what's up? Captain, I just saw someone leaving Mark Benson's house. They looked very suspicious. I think I'm gonna follow them. Well, don't do anything stupid. Just follow them and report right back to me. And, and where the hell is Detective Johnson? I don't know. Damn it. Well, don't let him out of your sight. We need to end this thing. All right, I'm on it. Yes, come in. Hey, Scott. Hi, Bishop. You are welcome. Thank you. How are you? Please have a seat. It's been a long time. How you been? I'm doing great. Where have you been? Well, I moved to New York City, opened my own business. That's where I am right now. Well, very great. You have done good for yourself. Thank God. Thank you. And if your parents happen to be alive, you're going to be proud of you. Well, bless God. I don't know about that, but I bless God. You know, your family and my family were very good friends. And your father wanted you and your brother to be together. Very important. But have you seen your brother lately? Not yet. So now you are in town. Make sure you go see him or call me. Definitely, I will, Bishop. I will. I will see him before I leave. Good. You better do. Um, do me a favor, please. Don't tell him I'm in town. I won't surprise him. Certainly, I will not tell him. But do you know that your brother's wife has been kidnapped? What? When? About a week ago. And your brother is demoralized. So make sure you see him 
and comfort him before you leave town. That's so sad. Why would someone want to kidnap his wife? Well, I don't know either. But you have to understand, bad things sometimes happen to good, food, good people. And sometimes good people suffer unnecessarily. And so, and that is why it is very important that at this time of his need, you stand by him. I will do just that, Abisha. I'll see him before I leave town. Okay, you better do. Okay, Abishab. Uh, thank you very much. I have to take my leave now. I have another meeting. Okay. Thank you very much for visiting. But go see your brother thank before you, you leave town. Thank you, Abishab. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And I promise. Hopefully, I will see you again. Amen. I promise I will come again. Okay. Thank bye you. Bye bye. Thank you. Merci. Have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Amy, it's, it's your brother, Harry. Um, could you please give me a call back when you get this? It's, it's really important. Uh, I hope you're doing okay. Just please call me when you get this. I guess you finally decided to call me back. What do you want, Harry? I don't have time for this right now. I guess you're still bitter. Listen, Mom wants to talk to you. What does she want? Amy, Mom's got cancer. It's, it's terminal, and they're saying that she's only got like a month left. What? Why didn't anyone tell me this? Well, maybe we would, we would have told you if you would pick up your phone sometimes. Listen, I'm not, I'm not here for that, okay? Uh, can we meet somewhere? I miss you, we all miss you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll send you a location. Meet me tomorrow at 5 p.m. Okay, 5 p.m.
Agent Sanchez, it's been a while. Agent Johnson, yeah. How are you doing? Same all, same all, man. Nothing new. What you got for me? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. So, he moved to Minnesota on June the 25th. He bought a house in the Apple Valley. Uh, oh, and we think he's doing cocaine. He's selling cocaine now. Really? Where, where's he getting the drugs from? Oh, the Black Jaws. Black Jews? Come on, man, Black Jaws. Oh, black the gang. Jaws. Oh, yeah, 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 got it, the gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not good. They're bad news. Okay, Sandy, I get the hell out of here. Talk to you later. Sure. Right. Oh, hey, Johnson. Yeah. How was prison? Really? <laughs> Did you drop the soap? Ha ha ha, very funny. <laughs>